PR matters more. Thank you. We have topical questions. Question one, David Stewart. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what assessment is made of the recently published road traffic statistics. Minister. Transport Scotland will publish the official road safety statistics for 2014 in our document Key Reported Road Casualties on the 17th of June 2015. We will base our assessment uh, on those official statistics. The road safety framework to 2020 sets out ambitious and challenging targets and sets out a range of education, engineering and enforcement measures which all play a key role in our comprehensive approach. The Road Safety Strategic Partnership Board SPB, are conducting a strategic mid-term review during 2015 of the progress made under the framework. David Stewart. Uh, thank you, President Officer. The Minister will be well aware that the road deaths increased uh, from 2013 to 14 by 7, and whilst fewer people in cars and bikes died, there has been an increase in pedestrian and motorcyclists killed. Stuart Hay from Living Streets said, and I quote, pedestrian safety battle is far from won. Will the Minister clarify the Scottish Government's plans to make our streets safer for all road users, particularly pedestrians and motorcyclists, in light of those figures? Minister. Um, as I have said, we will be publishing our uh, statistics and our response to them, but of course any casualty, any injury, any fatality is to be uh, regretted and therefore I take uh, the issue very, very seriously, having worked so closely since my appointment on matters uh, of road safety. And I know that David Stewart uh, cares very deeply about this uh, issue as well. I think we have been able to undertake uh, a range of actions around uh, education uh, particularly, and we'll continue to do that. And on uh, wider issues around road safety, I think it was the right thing to do to lower Scotland's drink drive limit. I think that was the right approach that, that may well be uh, copied um, elsewhere. If media reports are to be believed, I think it was uh, the right approach. We've had high profile publicity campaigns such as the uh, road safety campaign, and we've just recently launched the Live Fast, Die Old campaign which urges motorcyclists to stay safe, particularly on, on bends during the, the biking season particularly. We have a country roads campaign featuring uh, David Coulthard. We work closely with uh, roads officials and road, roads uh, authorities. We also publish new guidance on 20 mile per hour zones as well to encourage uh, their deployment across uh, the country. Clearly, Edinburgh City Council is very much uh, leading uh, the way there, and we have also had very careful and considered use of the average speed camera deployment on the A9 as well. But education uh, will be central to our efforts, and I will continue to work with a number of partners to try and ensure that our roads are safer for all. Minister. Uh, Mr Stewart. Uh, maybe in the future, Prime Minister. Um, young, um, uh, uh, young motorists, particularly men under 25, are a high-risk group for death and injury on our roads. Does the Minister agree with my campaign for a graduated driving licence scheme, which Dr Surya Jones of Cardiff University said would save 22 young lives in Scotland and over £80 million? Will the Minister seek an urgent meeting with Patrick McLaughlin, the Secretary of State for Transport, and support my bid for Scotland to pilot the graduate scheme within the UK? Minister. Yes, I, whilst not necessarily agreeing with the ministerial approach, the promotion at uh, any time uh, soon, if you'll forgive me, uh, Mr Stewart, I would uh, be happy to continue our efforts with the UK Government to promote the scheme, and I'd be more than happy to pilot it in Scotland. As the Member is well aware, we've made uh, uh, moves to the UK Government uh, on this uh, issue in the past, and I'll continue to do so, and if the Labour Party uh, want to assist us, uh, on that with, with others, and I will happily take a cross-party approach and more than happy to, to try and progress this once again. Christine Graham. Uh, thank you, President. Also, the Minister will be aware of the particular dangers on rural roads, such as in my constituency, by, if I may call them, our fair weather motorcyclists who see the apparently quiet road as a speedway, forgetting the slow-moving tractor around the corner or the livestock crossing their path. Can I ask what particular steps the government can take to educate those leather-clad, quite often middle-aged motorcyclists, to take care and not underestimate the dangers which may lie ahead? Minister. As it happens, our 
campaign for motorcyclists is actually um, age targeted because there is a specific um, issue there and in terms of geography as well there is an issue about rural roads and that's particularly why we had the country roads campaign so as well as the general road safety measures that we'd be taking around education and uh, engineering we've got very focused campaigns for those that will be most receptive to them and rather than just a blunt government message they've been market tested as well so hopefully all of that uh, will assist as well as some of the other measures that I described in my earlier answer and with the use of uh, social media as well they don't necessarily have to be expensive campaigns but intelligent well-focused targeted campaigns will help us address the issue um, and it is the case that you know as I say, any fatality, any casualty is to be regretted, and some of them might have very specific individualised uh, circumstances, but anything this government can do to make our roads safer, we will. Alex Johnson. Is the Minister's consider of consideration of further engineering measures likely at any time to include the further consideration of the provision of a grade-separated junction at the junction of the A90 with the A937 at Lawrence Kirk? Minister? Well, it is a matter, like with all uh, capital investment, um, around uh, specific engineering to local solutions. I'm aware of the concerns at that junction. Uh, we are progressing uh, more uh, works at, at, the, at the moment, specifically on that junction, to move towards you know, a funding proposition and, and so on. But where there is specific engineering solutions that can be put into place to make roads safer, we are doing that and the A9 dueling is an ideal example but in terms of Lawrence Kirk yes uh, discussion is currently underway as to how we progress that. Jenny Mara. Thank you, Presiding Officer. I speak as a Member of Parliament who uh, uh, experienced a, a road death accident just in an ur urban area just uh, last week. Um, Presiding Officer, the Minister will know as well as I do that the speed limit in urban areas in Scotland is 30 miles per hour. It's also my understanding that the limit for prosecution if a driver is going over 30 miles per hour is far in excess of 30 and is actually nearer 40 under Crown Office guidance. How many miles per over? Sorry, how many miles per hour over 30 does the minister think it is acceptable for non-prosecution? Minister, the answer I would like to give is that people keep to the speed limits, full stop per se. What my justice, justice uh, colleagues pursue will be a matter for them, and I'm happy to write to the member. It may be better doing that than me broadcasting here and now. Not that I'm sure the public at large will be watching, but I don't think it's a helpful message to suggest that anyone should flout the speed limits. So people should stick to the speed limits appropriate to that road. And I'm happy to engage in uh, a more uh, private communication as to the wider justice issues. And I'm also happy to take this up with the Road Safety Partnership and Police Scotland, because I do believe that there may well be an issue around the enforce enforceability of our speed limits. Thank you. Without any topical questions, we move to the next item of business, which is a debate on motion number 13196 in the name of Maureen Watt.